From big successes to big failures, construction is always interesting. Let's explore the highs and lows of engineering history. From the majestic Tower of Pisa to the tragic collapse of the Lotus Riverside Complex, we can explore important lessons about making things better and safer. So, get ready to hear about the cool and the not-so-cool stuff in construction. In China, construction moves fast and on a massive scale. One notable incident that highlights the risks involved is the collapse of the Lotus Riverside Complex in Shanghai on June 27, 2009. The incident occurred during the excavation for an underground garage when the soil around the building became unstable. Despite warnings about the loose soil, they were ignored, leading to tragic consequences. The supervising company responsible for ensuring safety failed to address the risks adequately. There were also conflicts of interest at play, where profit motives overshadowed safety concerns. As a result of the collapse, lives were lost and families were shattered. Property buyers who had invested in the complex demanded refunds feeling betrayed by the negligence that led to the disaster. The Intempo skyscraper in Benidorm, Spain was a groundbreaking project set to be the tallest residential building in the European Union. However, its journey to completion was far from smooth. The global financial crisis hit hard, causing significant delays and financial strain on the project. Rumors of structural issues circulated, further complicating matters. During construction, workers went on strike, and there were reports of elevator malfunctions, adding to the challenges faced. As financial difficulties mounted, the original company behind the project faced bankruptcy. This led to a takeover by new management, injecting hope into the project's future. Despite facing daunting obstacles, including the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, the new company remained committed to finishing what had been started. With perseverance and determination, the Intempo skyscraper finally reached completion. The Berlin Aquadome is a remarkable cylindrical aquarium located in the Radisson Blue Hotel in Berlin, Germany. Standing at an impressive height of 25 meters, it's not only a stunning visual attraction, but also functions as a habitat for a diverse range of marine life. The Aqua Dome is encased in a glass elevator, allowing visitors to enjoy a mesmerizing journey through its transparent walls as they ascend or descend. However, on December 16, 2022, an unexpected incident shook the Aqua Dome's reputation for safety. A section of the acrylic glass paneling fractured, leading to a partial collapse. Fortunately, due to the timely excavation protocols and the limited number of visitors present, injuries were minimal. The probable cause of the collapse was determined to be material fatigue exacerbated by temperature differences. The constant variations in temperature, particularly between the heated interior and the colder exterior, likely weakened the structural integrity of the glass over time, culminating in the fracture. In the aftermath of the incident, immediate measures were taken to assess and reinforce the remaining structure of the Aquadome. Safety protocols were also reviewed and updated to prevent similar incidents in the future. Despite the unsettling event, the Aquadome remains a popular attraction, serving as a reminder of the importance of ongoing maintenance and vigilance in ensuring the safety of architectural marvels. The Tower of Pisa, located in Italy, is a renowned architectural marvel and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Its fame primarily stems from its distinctive lean, which has puzzled and captivated visitors for centuries. Construction of the tower began in 1173, but it soon became apparent that the soft ground on which it was built was unable to support its weight evenly. As a result, the tower started to lean to one side. This lean was caused by a flaw in the tower's design, where the foundation was not adequately planned to accommodate the soft soil. Over the years, various efforts have been made to prevent the tower from toppling over completely. One notable intervention was the removal of the tower's bells to reduce the strain on its structure. Additionally, engineers installed counterweights and conducted extensive soil removal on the higher side of the tower to help correct its lean. Despite these efforts, the tower continued to lean, albeit at a reduced rate. However, in the 20th century, more comprehensive measures were taken to stabilize it further. This included the injection of cement grout into the foundation and the installation of tension cables around the third level. Today, visitors to the Tower of Pisa can marvel at its unique tilt, 
a testament to both the ingenuity of its builders and the ongoing efforts to preserve this iconic landmark for future generations. In the late 1980s, Seoul experienced a construction boom, reflecting South Korea's rapid economic growth. Among the ambitious projects was the Sampuing department store, a symbol of modernity and progress. However, the construction process was fraught with issues. Tragically, on June 29, 1995, the Sampung department store collapsed, claiming the lives of hundreds of people. Lee Jun, the owner, was criticized for his negligence and failure to address safety concerns promptly. His actions, or lack thereof, contributed to the disaster. The collapse resulted in significant casualties and legal consequences. Investigations revealed widespread corruption and bribery within the construction industry, highlighting systemic issues that prioritized profit over people's safety. The Apollo 13 mission was an ambitious space endeavor by the United States, aiming to explore the moon. However, due to engineering faults, the spacecraft experienced a critical issue with its oxygen supply, endangering the lives of the astronauts aboard. As a result, the mission had to be aborted prematurely, forcing the spacecraft to return to Earth without achieving its attendant goals. The extensive costs incurred in planning, preparation, and execution of the mission, coupled with the subsequent investigations and corrective measures, amounted to an estimated $283 billion, making it the most expensive engineering mistake in history. The 2010 BP Deepwater Horizon oil rig explosion unleashed a colossal oil spill wreaking havoc on the environment and economy. BP, the company involved, incurred massive penalties, compensations, and losses totaling $65 billion. Transocean, the rig owner, paid $1.4 billion in damages. This disaster highlighted the devastating consequences of industrial accidents, emphasizing the importance of stringent safety measures in oil exploration and production. The Deepwater Horizon disaster confronted not just the risks connected with offshore drilling, but also the significance of strict safety procedures and governmental control in the oil and gas business. It triggered an overview of safety regulations and emergency response processes to avoid similar disasters in the future. In 2014, the French rail company SNCF found itself in a monumental blunder when it manufactured 2,000 trains that turned out to be too wide for numerous European tunnels, stations, and platforms. This oversight caused significant operational disruptions and highlighted the importance of precise measurements in engineering projects. To remedy the situation, SNCF had to embark on a costly endeavor, investing over $20.5 billion to procure new trains that complied with the infrastructure's dimensions. This expense not only underscored the critical nature of thorough planning and testing, but also served as a stark reminder of the financial repercussions of oversight in large-scale engineering endeavors. The Dubai Aquarium, known as the Indoor Ocean, encountered a substantial setback when a minor leak developed in one of its panel joints. Though the leak was initially small, it posed a considerable risk to the aquatic inhabitants and the structural integrity of the aquarium. To address the issue without causing harm to the animals, extensive measures had to be taken, significantly adding to the financial burden. Despite successful efforts to save marine life, rectifying the leak without disturbing the delicate ecosystem proved to be an arduous and costly task, amounting to nearly $20 billion. This incident underscored the vulnerability of complex structures like aquariums to even minor technical faults and highlighted the immense financial consequences associated with maintaining and repairing such facilities. From amazing achievements like the Leaning Tower of Pisa to the tragic events like the Lotus Riverside Complex collapse, each story teaches us something important about building things safely and overcoming challenges. Throughout our exploration, we've seen how people can accomplish incredible feats, but also how mistakes can lead to serious problems. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you can see our next videos. Give us a thumbs up to help more people find this construction story from big successes to big failures. Thanks for watching. We'll have more awesome stuff coming soon. Stay curious and keep exploring until the next video. See you then.